there, Ariana from Crafting Happiness here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn this poppy flower applique into a square motif. And you can use this square motif and make it as big as you like. I only crocheted two rows, but uh, you can crochet as many and make it as big as you like. Uh, I've already created this poppy pattern in a different video. Uh, you'll find the link to the video in the description below and I'll also put it here on the screen. Um, that video will show you how to make this poppy uh, applique and in this video I will just show you how to turn it into a square. So let's get started. For this tutorial I am using double knit yarn in green and the poppy that I've made in a previous video which is uh, made with double knit yarn as well. Obviously you can use any yarn you like with a matching hook. I am using a slightly bigger hook than recommended for double knit. It's a 4.5 millimeter crochet, the same hook I use for the poppy. You'll also need scissors and a darning needle to cut the yarn and weave in the ends. So uh, let's start from where we finished the poppy. If you remember from the previous video, we have crocheted this outer uh, layer um, in the front loops of uh, the circle. That left the back loops exposed and we will crochet the square in, into these loops. Now the stitch count around this circle are 20, is 24 stitches. And we will divide that in four and crochet, create our square. So let's join with green, make a slip knot, and then we will uh, work um, with the poppy facing up. Uh, if we just turn and crochet around with it facing down, you will have the wrong side of the uh, square facing up and that is not a pretty side. You will want this pretty side to face up. So uh, yeah, that's why we are now working with it, uh, with the poppy uh, facing down. Um, it's easy, we just fold down the petals to expose the loops and it will be easy to work. And um, we will join the yarn in any of the stitches and chain three and this counts as your first double crochet uh, i will also um, crochet over the ends so we don't have too many to weave in now into the next four stitches we will make a double crochet so that's one two three and four so including the chain three which counts as a double crochet we have five double crochet into the next we will create uh, the first of the four corners and to do that we are going to uh, make a double crochet chain two and then a double crochet into the same loop like this and then into the next five stitches we make a, a five uh, one double crochet so that's one two three four and five and then into the next stitch we make uh, the next corner so double crochet chain two and then double crochet and this is your repeat section right here we make a five double crochet followed by the corner stitches which is double crochet chain two double crochet and we repeat this two more times so we need four more corners we already did it twice we need the other two sides of the square so let me show you one more repeat Okay, so we have one, two double crochet, three, four, and five, and then the corner, which is double crochet, chain two, 
and then double crochet and that's one repeat now into the last uh, six stitches we are going to uh, make again uh, five double crochet one two three four and five and into the last one uh, another corner stitch which is a double crochet chain two double crochet and then we join this round by slip stitching at the top chain of the chain three we've made at the beginning and this is your first round you can see now the square now we're just going to build on it now the next round is the repeat round and you can make that round over and over to build up your square as big as you like i'll just show you this round the rest is pretty easy i'll explain it as we go so now um we are going to chain three again counts as a double crochet and then um we crochet a double crochet on top of every single double crochet that we have so that is one two three four five double crochet that's one two three four and five and now uh, once you crochet into the last double crochet uh, we create the corner stitches into this chain two space uh, this is different uh, it's a different corner than the previous one in this one we do two double crochet then we chain two and then we make two double crochet into the same chain space and this is your corner this will form the corner now we're going into the next side of the square this has seven um, double crochet so we will double crochet in each seven double crochet when we reach the corner we make again this corner so let me show you this you repeat this on each of the sides i'll just show you this side and then you repeat it uh, two more times um, okay so double crochet into the next seven stitches and then once you reach like i said um, the uh, chain two space we will make our corner stitches okay so we have seven um seven double crochet now uh, we make the corner which is two double crochet in that chain two space then chain two and into the same uh, chain space we make two more double crochet okay and this is how one side looks like i'll show you from the back now we repeat this section on these two sides seven double crochet followed by the corner stitches which is two double crochet chain two two double crochet into the uh, chain two space below um, i will finish this uh, off camera and then i'll uh, come back and explain to you how to make this square as big as you like now i've crocheted on all the sides and i've reached uh, the last corner now remember at the beginning we made a chain one and five uh, double crochet we need to have seven so we have one more stitch here where we need to make a double crochet and then uh, we can close the round by slip stitching in the top chain of the chain three and our second uh, round of the square is complete and this is where i've stopped because i like the way uh, this tiny square looks like obviously you can make it as big as you like and the formula for this is um, you uh, double crochet in every single double crochet in the previous round 
Uh, so if you have 8, then you make 8 double crochet. If you have 11, you make 11. No matter how many double crochet you have below, you count them and you make that many double crochet on top. Once you reach the chain to space, you make your corner stitches, which is uh, 2 double crochet, chain 2, 2 double crochet. And you do that 4 times uh, on each side of the square. And you can grow this square. You can even make it as big as a blanket baby blanket uh, whatever you like uh, i will stop here i hope my um, tutorial was easy to follow if you have any questions about this pattern i'm more than happy to help you put them in the questions in the comments below and i will answer them happy crocheting